All right. <laughs> Usually you got the light that goes on. Okay. Hi, this is Joseph again. Um, right now we've got here a watercolor painting done by local artist Mario Hernandez. Okay. This is um, a rattlesnake that he did, which is something that is very common here in um, South Texas. Um, we actually acquired two different paintings from the artist. Um, this was uh, the, the rattlesnake. The other one, the, the other one that we had was um, the coyotes. Mm -hmm. The coyotes. Um, that went straight to a, a person in La Jolla who said, "Hey, we can, you know, have that displayed out in an office and stuff there." And the rattlesnake, I'm still waiting for somebody from Sherryland to pick it up. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what we can do here is, is maybe we can close in a little bit. And I want to talk about the technique that they used. Uh, what he did is he made 300 prints, prints of the of the black uh, lines on them. Um, and then he went in and did the watercolor by hand to give it all its color. Wow. So it, it is it is something that is a mixture. It's a mixture. It's like an in-between between mass produced but still being original works of art from the artist. Um, and then he did also make the, the frame. The frame is all original, hand done by him. And, and so one of the options that, that, um, that I was told from a customer of ours that he would do for, for his customers was he would sell the image itself, the print, the print itself. Um, if you wanted it watercolored in for the color, he would offer that option. And then if you wanted it framed by him, he would also offer that option where he would do the framing himself. What, Mayor, on, on something like this, I know since you do more like the oil paintings and stuff like that, mm -hmm. on something like this with watercolor, you've used watercolor, right? Yeah. Okay, have you ever have you ever tried doing something like that where you have like a print done and then fill it in like with, with, with watercolor or how, how well, does that work? With one of my works, yeah, my my teacher had told me to do ink first and then do watercolor because it makes it like, okay. it gives it a really good like texture with the way it comes out. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, all right, neat. And, and so when somebody when somebody would need to do like, let's say like how he did this with like 300 of them and stuff, mm -hmm. um, is that like a really complicated process? Is there like a certain way that they do that? I don't, you, you know a little bit more about that than I do or, mm -hmm. or do they just go and get those printed out however and then just go and fill them in? I'm, I'm not sure how I don't how know that's much done. about printmaking, but I know it's complicated though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a complicated, complicated process. Yeah, I, we, have, <laughs> we have one of our, our customers, um, his name is uh, uh, David, that he comes in and he's been doing a lot of woodcuts he, he does the woodcuts and then and then fills those in with ink or colors and then he makes his prints that way. Um, I wish he was here this week so I could ask him a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. But um, again, this is available at our shop. If anybody has any questions or anything about it, they can come right in. Um, I know if we're posting this up on our site, we might get a few of the family members of Mario Hernandez that, that can probably post up some info or something. Um, I've been very interested in maybe getting him to uh, come in or maybe a, a family member of his to come in and kind of tell us a little bit more about his work and if they have anything else available um, that they'd like for us to, to help the artist out, we'd try to sell and try to get out there and try to get you know, his, his, his work known a little bit more again, um, we'd be more than glad to do that. Okay? Good.